Hello and welcome back. Um, today we're into tier four here in the Western Isles, so I thought I'd give you this opportunity to have me take you around all my beautiful local trails here in Stornoway. So yeah, let's get straight to it. Repping the nuke-proof bananas. Satisfying zip shop, I hope. So yeah, I got this jacket back yesterday from Endura. Um, I had a rip in the sleeve in November, but they patched it up for me. So I'm very happy. Mad shout out to Endura for that. I'm gonna try and land a cheeky, um, a cheeky flatland T-bog to, um, you know, get the video started. I'll take it. Right. Let's go ride some trails. I thought by now all the ice would have melted, but there's still some here. Woo, here we go. First trail. This is our Willow Glen Trail. Stretched along this wall. It is a two-way track, so we might see some other people, but very much doubt it. Yo, there we go. Look at that. That's just heartbreaking. Got to finish it off by sneaking down the um the off piece line. Oh, lots of branches here today. Under the tape. Got to be rebellious. Here we are now, coming up to our world famous pump track. Look at this absolute beast. Oh, it's very icy. Oh yes, these two corners are tight and almost impossible to pump through. Can't gap anything, but you know, they tried. It's not awful. Uh, this trail's got many names. It's another blue, it's called Paranoid in here. I'd call it Sawmill 2. Some call it Dip 2 or Dip 2. But yeah, let's go. Starts off a nice berm that some of the boys built into this little poppy double. There's a climb up to the top. Probably the best trail descent in the castle grounds here. Here we go. Seats down, seat shock in a rock. Awkward corner first with an awkward drop, but then you boost around, pop that, and power down into these two really nice berms. Through this corner, what oh, manny that, and then onwards down the trail. Another beautiful burn. Woo! Kind of washed out here, but you know what? Still plenty fun enough. I wonder if Horizon level is on. Yo, then that's you. Down at the next road. Pop 180. Nicely done. Moving on. Next trail. Strawberry full. I know this is new strawberry. It's another blue. It's quite flowy. I'll talk you through it. So some fairly magnificent views. There you go. Look at that. Stretching over the castle grounds. The measly local. But yeah, we love it. Let's get it. This trail, genuinely quite fun. Nice big bones to power through to start with. Oh, the ice has melted pretty much. Yeah, she's gone. And then you power down this off camera section. Oh, there is ice there. Take that a bit slow. Another off camera corner. Straight down. Woo! Power over that bad boy. That is more ice there, so we'll just take that a little bit slower. Oh, that's icy there too. A bit sketchy this trail, nice. To be honest with you. Funny half funny speed, but that's okay. And then if you're feeling spicy, cheeky drop to finish. So over this side of the grounds here, this is Gallows Hill, this is the Windy Corner down here. Small kind of off-piste. Uh, rider built trails which are a bit more muddy, a bit more sloppy and way more techy. So first one I'm going to take you down here 
is Windy Corner. Okay. Let's drop. In the summer, this was just a beautiful dry trail. And now, oh, it's just a bit scary and muddy. Let's try and send this jump. Whoa, it just about made it. Me and my mate Sam built that a few weeks ago. Get to stop this burn here. Oh, that's just a lot of mud. So yeah, um, this is pretty much Thornlow's finest now. This used to be all through rocks, but now it's just so sloppy. And I'm going slowly, I do apologise. But I'm no Reese Wilson. Woo! Nicely done. Right, onwards to Gallows. Quick mid-ride stop to appreciate the beauty of Stornoway. Oh yes, it's called Gallows Hill. Oh, it's called Slipknot. Why it's called Slipknot is beyond me, but there you go. Woo! Cheeky jump to start. Out of a wall, oh, that's ice. Take that easy. Baby, this bit's a bit kind of awkward. I don't want to off the track there, um, but yeah. Trail is another interesting off piece one built by a certain Finley Reed. Here we go, it's very sloppy. Um, let's take this line down here. There we go. Yeah, so basically, this one just now is just mud. But eventually, that might be built up. It's something a bit more fun, but there you go. That's the view of that beast. Anyway, onwards. For the penultimate trail of the day, we've got Muddy Way, which snakes down here all the way to the shore road. It's very muddy, top section's in awful condition, but it's fun nonetheless, so we'll give it a blast. I know how bad this trail is. I'm sure you can just ride it, but that's just scary. Okay, well, that was horrendously ridden on my part. But I know it improves from there. So we'll just look at that. Sneak down this bit. It's a bit easy. Straight over here. Ah! The front wheel's out. Down. Ah! One pretty tough climb later. And we're at the top of the final trail of the day. This one's called Bad Education. And it's our only red trail in the castle grounds. Although some of the off piste stuff is harder. This is what they grade to be red. Um, it's not a difficult trail. It's quite straightforward. And I would always call this the jumps track, but let's get into it, show you what it's all about on this very last trail. And you can come around here and then whoop, up on that rock. Power on. Oh, it's a little bit icy there, standard. Some nice burns here. Really quite probably the best in the ground. Followed by some little tables. And there's quite a lot of kind of mediocre doubles down this bit. Of here. The jumps trail smashed. I was just filming the outro on this bad boy, but it died. So um, just to follow up, hopefully in the summer back in the Tweed Valley with some proper trails drive. But for now, there'll be plenty of content come from here. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. See you around.